My name is Matt Thurgood and I study at Camberwell, BA Fine Arts Sculpture. The final piece I've created for the degree show is called The Space Between Two Trees and it's situated between binaries, fine art and comedy, masculinity, femininity, painting and fashion and how all these pieces aren't just pillars. There's a fluid motion between them and they often bleed and interlock into each other. And my character, Janie Palace, is a drag persona that I've made for myself that has taken influence from characters and people I've met at home, Strictly Come Dancing judges, teachers I've had at school who perform an authoritative power that can translate into public discourse through performance. The authority they perform, people take characteristics like that and perform them into everyday life and I took that into the gallery space. So the main ingredients of the piece are the backdrop painting, which is what I link a lot to the performance in theatre. So I've used super saturated paint. The figure is based on my drag character, Janie Palace, and the figure is made out of steel and mixed media, and I've got foam pieces for the legs and the arms that I've shaved down using a turkey strimmer and scissors, so using sort of different techniques and in the metal workshop. I've bent the metal, I've soldered the metal. So I've used expanding foam in the Wellington boots. I've used foam on the arms and the legs. And I don't try to hide these processes. The ship is fabricated to look chrome and this speaks to institutional polishing. In activism, you try and expose this structure beneath. That's why I wanted to use this 3D printed mask and expose it, it's basically only half a head. What I had to do was to block my eyebrows, my sideburns, I had to put a swimming cap on, so I could get rid of all the light. And then we took 60 pictures around my head, and then we took this to Mesh Mixer. Keeping on the theme of the shininess as well, I created a chrome ship effect. So this links into my work with sci-fi and sci-fi literature that I've read, like Ursula Le Guin and Octavia Butler, who don't believe in utopia or dystopia. And again, look at that in-between space. What I loved about Campbell was at the core, it's community, the way the tutors all encourage events to put on together and the fluidity in workshops and studios where you're not boxed into these individual spaces and where you're encouraged to work with others. The teaching is so precise and they really are there for you. I really felt comfortable in making mistakes and to uh, ask for help, but also to have the freedom and independence. The most valuable skills I've learned on this course, and I think I'm going to take with me further, are using the research and the resources, knowing that making can also equate to research and they can link to each other. My plans for the future are to definitely adapt with my drag career and work with that more, maybe start sewing and working with my makeup a lot more and working in galleries maybe. I'd like to do a residency in metal as well and sort of work with those skills and learn more about casting and digital work and sort of just get more confidence in my creativity and in my creative language.